That a hip hop album revisit, man. Absol control system. On that Absol review, everybody that you see in front of the camera right now was there as well. There was a couple of things happening at that point in time. So go back and make sure you check out the original review and come back and watch this one. Yeah, why were you on the computer? Because okay. I, I I was out of town, yeah. and that was one of the first times that we started to implement. You know, like video chatting in. Oh, see, we had that. We were ahead of time. We right? was ahead of time. <laughs> Ten years ago, Mike. Right? <laughs> ahead of the know, curve. Man. They don't yep. know. Yep. We were. Yep. We were. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, Trendsetters, boy. And, and this review was very shortly after our camera was stolen. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it, it was a lot of lot of things happening. You know what I'm saying? But the show must go on. Dead Hip Hop is still here 10 years later, and we are revisiting Absol's control system. I'm not gonna front like it really make me it made me feel like this is Absol's magnum opus like this is I re up? but did, did you didn't you didn't like this album that much was it this no, album no he liked it. no I yeah. liked it yeah okay. I was talking he about said the production uh, wasn't all that yes I didn't like I think the production. that's what I'm remembering mm -hmm. yep. yeah that's I, what I'm I wasn't remembering. fucking with the production yeah, um shit. but yeah. no 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 <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> ain't having it today. We're like two minutes in. He's already oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, hey, hey that, that stance has changed Man. a lot. But yeah, nah. Originally, I, I I wasn't fucking with some of the slower beats and things of that nature. But um, listening to it now, it's like, damn, you know, like this thing aged pretty good. Um, I don't think it, it sounds like fresh, like. Like if it would have come out, not like oh my god, but there's a lot on here that um, I think it could drop today. Absolutely. No, I'm not saying it couldn't drop today. I think there's some tracks on there that I would question if it dropped today. Mm, oh no, what bro. tracks? Mm. Tell me now. Yeah. Okay, oh, me too. Oh, I want to know. Oh, no. Tell me now. Absolutely. Tell me when you drop it today. Shit. A re release. Right. Right. <laughs> System control. And, and you know what? It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the songs. It's still the production for me. Mm -hmm. No, nah, bro. No, nah, it, it's still the production for me. No, FIFA. not saying that is bad. <laughs> I'm just saying, me personally, I would, I would question. I would why? question. What, like, I, I, don't I don't know what understand. it is. I, I don't know why. Just even ten years later, it, some of it just the, the 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 sonically just doesn't vibe with me. Hmm. Which ones do you remember? Um. To see I don't know which one. one, bro. There isn't one. It isn't one. <laughs> some of the beats on there, you're saying that you would question some of the beat choices on there if it dropped today because it wouldn't fit within the soundscape of, of today. what's out today. And yeah, I I, I totally disagree with mm -hmm. you on that. That's cool. This album yeah. was definitely damn near timeless. As far as the 10 years goes, mm -hmm. yeah. it's mm -hmm. aged extremely mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You yeah. said pretty good. I'm like, nah, man, this, this thing is amazing. Because I remember <laughs> when this came out, this was my second favorite TDE like release. Yep. Like after Section 80, it was this one. This and this is still probably like in my top three, top four of like TDE releases. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this was up there until Blank Face came out. But like this was up there as one of my favorite TDE releases when this album came out. I thought Ab Soul, it seemed like this album really I thought this was gonna set Ab Soul up to be mm -hmm. like that, you know, like you we, we gonna be mentioning him for yeah. a long yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? Like he was gonna be up there. Cause at that time, bar for bar, people were saying he was better, better than Kendrick. Mm -hmm. It's just, yep. just a technical rapper style. Just yeah. technically, he was, he was yeah. snapping on this whole. Thing. Yes, yeah. yes. I think it's interesting what expectations can do to like your mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. right? Because I agree. Like when when this came out, everybody thought, including myself, like, oh shit, Ab is next. Ab, mm -hmm. Ab might be the best. Mm -hmm. And then it's just, it was like it was a, a steady decline from here, which is very interesting because it's like. This was so early in his career. How like how can you yeah. not at least Sustain match this that? one? Yeah. Or match this one? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you I don't feel think he can match it, but or be a, a slight it. tier under. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like the, the subsequent projects were at this level. Well, I feel like we thought he did on that um do what thou wilt. Like we did 
that we got a, that one got a glam review. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought it did. Yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah, if it yeah, did yeah, or not. yeah. It just yeah. it just didn't. It wasn't sonically like this. One. Yeah, like yeah. this one was more upbeat, and he was rapping really mm-hmm. hard. Do it thou wilt was more. It was deep, mm-hmm. and it was really, really, really complex. And I think that's why a lot of us liked it. That's mm-hmm. what was the interesting. But if you're just if you're one. just listening to it, right, it's not the same. Sonically, this was sonically just this on, was just right, right. man, what the fuck? and lyrically, right. like it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was a live or something where I said. um I forgot what what was the topic of the video, but I was like like you. I was like I I don't know if I still like this as much as anymore mm. or whatever. And I think it's because like on my Apple, it'll just play one song here and there, and not like the whole album or something like that. I'm like I don't know if I still like that control system like that. But then I went back and just listened to the whole thing. I was like, <laughs> man, mm. hell no, nah. Book this of Soul, was, like man. Black Lip Bastard remix. Man. I still feel the hippie. same way I felt back then that that it started off slow with with um, the way his delivery on the rapping, and then he picks up mm-hmm. on that second, third verse. I think I think it was the third, third verse. Third, the third verse. verse. Yeah. I was like, Whoa. yeah. So, so yeah, I think I still feel that way. Mm-hmm. But after that, man, it's just coasting after that man like, man through the whole thing every to the end mm-hmm. lyrics beats yes. everything yes. like the whole damn thing i was yes. tripping yeah. i was tripping you you know you know one thing that i i definitely didn't remember originally but listening to it now i was like damn that kendrick verse I feel it's very underrated. Like people don't really talk about illuminate Which one? like that. Oh, illuminate. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like people mm-hmm. don't talk. Oh, that, you know that's a crazy Kendrick verse. He no, was, people say that. Yeah, yeah. many people yeah. recognize that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know what I did notice on that? It it it, it very much sounds like uh, uh, Section 80 Kendrick. It does. It sounds it does. like Section 80. Yeah, 100. Like, like, yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's it like was right after that. You know, mm-hmm. it was a year after that album mm-hmm. that dropped. So, because because Good Kid, Mad City, it's like something changed in Kendrick mm-hmm. until mm-hmm. it was just a different type of Kendrick. Mm-hmm. But nah, this is like Section 80, and um, what's the first one? Overly dedicated. Overly dedicated Kendrick. It yeah. sounds like him. The yeah. voice, the cadence. Yeah. yeah, sounds like him on that track. So I was yeah. just like, dang, that's crazy. Shit, that black, that black Lebaster remix, though, oh, man. man. Nigga, man. J Rock. Man, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> black beat bastard. J Rock, man. J Rock was something else. That's one of my favorite <laughs> posse cuts from Oh, 100. Now. Yes, yes. Yeah. If not 100. my favorite. Because sometimes I go back between that or Vice City, but I'm like, nah, I nah, think this one that right. sample, nah, this, man. Nah, this is yeah. the hardest I guess because I know that sample, so it's just like, yeah, Black Lebaster remix. That's that and shit. And that was part of the discussion of this album that, that came out of this album was that we just knew at some point they were going to do. Their whole black hippie thing. Yes. And it yes. never happened. Yes. They said they wouldn't yeah. though. They said they didn't want to. We thought they were, I, at least I did. Yeah, I thought they, they were just to. trips, just saying shit. I That's thought, why they always yeah. said they're not a group. That can't that that, that yeah. was that part of that resistance. Yeah, we're I not a group. I could have sworn I heard something about them doing. Me an album. too. Mm-hmm. I could have sworn. I thought nah, I, did. I, I think it was probably, more rumor than anything. Yeah. Um, they said themselves that they didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. I remember uh, really? Schoolboy specifically mm-hmm. saying it. Yeah. That must. I think he said it's corny yeah, or something man. like that. He's like, yeah, it's corny or something we like thought, that. I mean, y'all call black hippie. I know. Then, uh, then right. they had that dope ass BT cipher. Like it was just like if you're not a group, then what are you? Yeah. yeah, why would you name yourself? Right. You, <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, you, you, you name groups. Yeah. Right. You know, yep. Like, just, yep. like yeah. what yep. else would it be? I want to say it was Schoolboy Q. He was just like, it just never works when people do it or whatever. So they just don't want to do it. What the fuck? What? <laughs> yeah. And all that shit they made together was fucking know. magic. So mm-hmm. it's like, I don't get it. Either way, because I didn't, I didn't see that. But it's, it's mm-hmm. just like the thought like 10 years later is why I try not to kind of look forward to certain things because you'd always just disappoint you, bro. It's like, mm-hmm. man, I can't wait. Like what the J. Cole Kendrick project. Yeah. People still talking oh, about yeah. that yep. to this day. <laughs> yep. You know, but I think Detox scarred should have scarred a lot of us. But um Yeah, shit, you're right. But but yeah, man, I like when I listen to this, it still feels like I'm listening to it for the first time. Mm. Um which is which is fucking crazy. But I think that speaks to the quality of this album. Mm-hmm. And um and as you know, I think we were talking earlier, it's, it's, it's hard for him to match that. And I think what Al Soul over the last ten years, what he hasn't had is he hasn't like had like a three album run. Like mm-hmm. you know, it was this, mm-hmm. then these days, which people were cool on, and then he came with Do Without Will. Mm-hmm. Like if he could have reversed those mm-hmm. and followed up with Do Without Will, it wouldn't have hit like this. But it, it would have at least, I think, been been close. Am I misremembering the conversation about that? No, I'm trying to remember. Wasn't there another album in there? These days. These days. That's I, when I, I, thought that's, there, I thought there was another. Long term mentality, maybe? That came was before, before this. Yeah, oh, if that's yeah, what you're thinking about. Yeah. Okay, I knew we have. So yeah. actually, that could have been like uh, almost a three year run because long term mentality was good. It wasn't this. It was. It was. Um, 
But it was good. Then there was this. It was like, oh shit. Then do without will. We're like, okay, it's still mm-hmm. soul, mm-hmm. you know. But it's just a different type of soul, and that's yeah. what Kendrick and other artists are able to do. Is they're they're able to kind of reinvent themselves or reinvent how they make music, yeah. and they kind of stay within you know the the confines of who they are. But they just do something different. With these days, he kind of went a little bit more commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's amazing how like after this <laughs> album, how I know I thought I'm like, okay, yeah, Absolute is about to make his you? name and then it just seemed like everybody else started taking off except for him it was just like mm-hmm. every you know schoolboy started getting the momentum j-rock started getting the momentum we already we already know kendrick you know what kendrick was doing so it was just kind of like it almost like he kind of got lost in the shovel over these last 10 years but man, around crazy. what point though because i don't think he lost momentum until these days i think de- these days kind of hurt him. kind of hurt him you think no, they did hurt him because i don't that, think that most of us album, there right? like that yeah, right mm-hmm. that was the next album after that one mm-hmm. that was, was like yeah his crash talk, but Schoolboy Q of like crash talk was mm-hmm. like after he exactly had, the run. Yeah, yeah, he had a good Ab run. Ab never had the run. Like Ab mm-hmm. was like, oh shit, control system. Then you take a step back and then you kind of come back with um, do without will. And then you got this six year hiatus now. It's so like, it's like it's a big question yeah. mark. Where yeah. with the other TDE members, they all drop projects that mm-hmm. we loved, and it was another mm-hmm. project that we may not have loved as much, but it, mm-hmm. it was unquestionable. But yeah. Ab never really had that run. And Ab now, changed his sound, I think, is what it is. You like, think that's what it was? If you listen, if you listen to this first project, because I did go back and listen to the other ones, because mm-hmm. I haven't listened to Absol in a long, mm-hmm. long time. I don't know why. But you listen to this project, then you listen to these days. It's very, 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 very different. Like, not just production-wise, like his rap style changed. And then when you get to do it thou wilt, it was almost like a whole new absol. Mm-hmm. It was a super dope absol. Yeah, yeah, it, it was completely very different. aggressive. It was well, no, I think I think to be honest, not disagreeing with you, but I'm, mm-hmm. I think that the first one was more aggressive than do it thou wilt. I think control system is the most aggressive we've ever heard absol. Mm-hmm. But then I think he pulled back and started to like really dig into being a complex lyricist, and maybe he didn't mm-hmm. think he could do that in an aggressive manner. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? No, maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> I could be. <laughs> no, I, 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 I agree with you because I, I did because I haven't listened to these days in a minute. Like it's probably shit since the review has mm-hmm. been that long, and mm-hmm. I remember liking the album, mm-hmm. but I did go back to revisit it. Like, see, okay, well, let me mm-hmm. see if that's changed. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's so, because it's so, and I listened to it right after this, so that mm-hmm. had so a big I, impact yeah. on it. Yeah, um, and I'm like, man, this is so different. Mm-hmm. Like, and I was like, what was he thinking? I think he was trying to go with more like beats of the times or like that, but rap, rap about something like from a different perspective. Was for what I remember. Going what now? Beats of the time. So he was like, like what, like what was popular at the time, like, like that twack. Type of production. I think had that gotcha. twack was like. Yeah, I remember oh that. It was like what God, the world. Bro. Yeah. But um, but yeah, but I, I, you know, every time I listen to this, I I think about Book of Soul, and I, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I just want to ask. This is a thought that popped in my head. Is Book of Soul like? one of the best mm-hmm. written hip hop songs of all time. <laughs> like it, it should be mm-hmm. mentioned. <laughs> and I think it should mentioned. almost be up there with yeah. songs, period. Yeah. I think it's yeah. just such a great it is. fucking song, man. It is. From the writing the, on that's amazing. It, yeah. It's looking really amazing. Is. And I remember amazing. us being like really amazed by that shit when we reviewed it. It was like, yo, yeah. the book of soul, what the fuck? And the was production this on that was just man, crazy. Everything, just how how he constructed our song and everything is just yeah, you're right, Ken. Like that yeah. should then be mentioned as Cause like, I like 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 Some I think Mike songs. mentioned this then, like talking about how the Mayans, um, oh. I guess the Mayans one line, my world ended. The yes. Yeah, the, the 20, world was going to end in 2012. 2012. Yeah. yeah. But then his girl died in 2012. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was real personable how he lost his pigment on his lips mm. and all. Man, it's just it's, like. It's but crazy. he used that to set up everything. Yeah. Man, bro. <laughs> it's like every time I listen to it, I hear something different. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, man. Dope, Fucking man. amazing song, man. Yeah, it's a dope ass song. Yeah. It's almost a shame, really. Mm hmm. Because I still think he's extremely talented. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's extremely talented. I honestly think that the reason a lot of people don't pay attention to him as much anymore is I think that, um, like I said, these days changed the sound a lot and he was rapping different. But do what thou will, I think it just went over everyone's heads. Yeah. Um, including including me. I'm not trying to like separate myself. I didn't really get the album. I loved it. Well, that's why we wanted to sit down yeah. with him and that's talk exactly about it. That's exactly what I was about it. to yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. I, really, I really regret that we never got the chance to do that sit down with him. 
because I really think that would have changed every not not everything, but it would have changed a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I really think that when people just listen to the album sonically, it's like yeah, he's rapping very well and it's over really weird production. It's cool, but then when they try to figure out what he's talking about, it's just like what? I don't get any of it. Right. Yeah, because I remember you were talking about the author that he was quoting, um, Alistair Crowley. Hmm. Alistair Crowley. Yes. Name. Yes. And how you were talking about some of his theories and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And it's like how he implemented that into the album. Like it was a lot deeper that we yeah. never really dug that deep into it. Or at least yeah. I know I did it. And it was it would be a lot for rap fans who aren't familiar with that whole Thelema, you know, uh, theories and ideology, whatever. So him explaining it would have been really cool. Mm -hmm. And I kind of think that that's where people lost it completely with Absol. Mm -hmm. And I think that might be the reason why people aren't really freaking out for another album. Where I want to, I would love to hear another album from Absol. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially because it's been so damn long. No, I was going to ask, have you heard his new single? Or that's the what single I thought you were about to year? ask. No, I didn't know there was one. Yeah, yeah I, I just saw it last night. Uh, yeah. oh, Holland wow. Dice. Holland, yeah. Holland Days, yeah. Is it good? It's okay. I don't yeah. know. It's all right. I listened to it, but I don't have a verdict on it. I, so I guess that's me kind of giving the answer. Like I didn't think it was amazing. I think Rod's right. I think it was just okay. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, I think it was just okay. Oh, shit. Okay. But I only listened to it once. Hmm. Do you think Absol should just drop something? Like do you or do you think like he should have he like did. a rollout, like <laughs> single? That you know what I mean? I mean like a project. No, he should not just drop something out the blue. Nah, he needs a, mm -hmm. a he needs he needs a rollout. Roll yeah. out. Absolutely. Okay. It's been six years, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta roll that he thing can't, out. He's not in the position right now to yeah. just drop something surprise. I mean, and like Mike said, he just did and And no one knew. We didn't know. Yeah. yeah I mean, know. my ears aren't complete to the streets, but they're, you know, they're a couple inches. And I didn't know anything about this song. Yeah, I didn't know either. So Same. I, last night, literally, just and it yesterday. dropped April twenty second. Oh shit! No, that's a problem, bro. Yeah. Absol dropped a new song after six years in April, and no word. And it has, you know, it hasn't gotten on playlist. Like, like you, you know, well, it has even, no buzz. Even as simple as Twitter, right, like, right, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> we was, normally some of us, hey man, you heard that new yep. album? Nothing. Yeah, on my end. And that's not an indication of it being good or not. It might be an amazing track. I might, right. well, I might think it's an amazing track. I haven't heard it. Mm -hmm. But the whole point is the buzz isn't there anymore. Right. Damn. People yeah. aren't freaking out to hear it. You know, I feel mm -hmm. like if J-Rock dropped a song like that, I think there'd probably be a little bit more interest. Do but I think people just lost Absol after Do What Thou Will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think people have just lost TD in general? Nah. nah. You, nah. You, you think they still got as much power in nah. the game as, as they once did? Or do you think it, cause I don't know. I, I, I think I don't, they fizzling out some? I, hmm. I think a little bit. I, like, I, hmm. I I don't feel like people are like really anticipating, like wanting, you know, I think Kendrick is is there, but now that Kendrick you is kind of separated. No <laughs> exactly, he separated himself a little bit. Hmm. I don't know if people are really like wanting TDE like that. Like I said, I think that if J-Rock dropped something and it was a hard J-Rock song and it wasn't like him trying to go for radio or anything like mm -hmm. that, if it was another hard J-Rock song, I think it would get buzzed. I think if Schoolboy's next project was not like Crash Talk, which again, for the record, I really like that new Schoolboy song. Soccer Dad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's, y'all can shake your little heads all you want. I don't even care. I, I'm you look okay. sad. You look sad. I'm it's sorry, bro. Okay. I like that song, it's man. Good. Hey, it's great, like man. It. We'll pop, 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 pop to you, brother. <laughs> but yeah, like, if, <laughs> if his next album is that blank face Schoolboy, or maybe even a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. I think there would be a reinvigorated interest in TDE. But I agree with you right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, the interest in TDE is not quite there. And thinking about where they are right now, like, people think TDE is just done. But mm -hmm. technically, they don't have to be. They still got Schoolboy. They still right. got Absol. They right. still got J-Rock. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just Isaiah a matter Rashad. of... Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah Rashad. Mm -hmm. They just... Kendra's just gone. But remember, all four of them, probably five, well, yeah, five were buzzing, like, mm -hmm. killing it. Mm -hmm. So just because Kendra is... But, but what has happened is that Crash Talk happened. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Absol did his thing. So that's why there's some, you know... Yeah. Uh, eyeballs on them in a different type of way than it was before. Yep. But those yeah. guys drop shit and it hits. I agree. And I think, um, you know, now that the dust is settled with the whole Kendrick thing, like for me, J Rock has been the most consistent, you know what I'm saying? Because of the whole mm -hmm. crash talk thing. But we'll see. I, I, I think it's very interesting. Um, 
the remaining roster and what and how they decide to pivot and how they decide to generate the buzz again because i don't think holland days is gonna do that or has not done that mm. to me it's still it's it there's a question mark there i don't know how they're planning to you know get that buzz back but i i definitely think it's something that they they have to do and kendrick was their homelander you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. someone else needs to move into that spot so they have to in some way figure out who that is yeah mm -hmm. honestly it's probably schoolboy at this point but he's gonna have to deliver mm -hmm. yeah he can't album. he can't deliver an album, this next that's album. Just like, oh that's okay mm -hmm. nah his next album you gotta deliver sorry schoolboy but i think he can do it of but course. Schoolboy's next album needs to be like, holy shit. This is this is the crazy. best one? Crazy. Mm -hmm. It has you to know? be questionably the best album he right. put out. Exactly. Yeah. It questionably. Has, it has to at least, at the mm -hmm. very least, be as good as Blank Face. But mm -hmm. it should be better in order for TDE to really get reinvigorated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, sh who knows? Abso might come back mm -hmm. with Control System 2 and just fuck everybody up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who knows? Yeah. But I want to hear it. Yeah, because a lot of the, the the themes and theories that he had on Control System, they still apply today. Mm -hmm. You know, because they, they like they don't go nowhere. Like mm -hmm. um the the one that he was talking about um with the girl, um, Double Jeopardy, uh, Double Standard. Oh, I mean, double, double Standard. standard. Double Standard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> double standard. <laughs> yeah, one word, Chloe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's ten years it later, man. We standard. all age. Right. I'm age too. Right. Shit. Look at the video, y'all. <laughs> But yeah, like that double standard thing, you know, especially mm -hmm. now when you look at, you know, the quote unquote red pill community, the manosphere and how that has taken off. And that's really talking about what he's mm -hmm. talking about on that song. And for me, I think that's one of the major reasons why it's aged so well is because those those ideas still apply right now, mm -hmm. 10 years later. So, I, you know, damn good album. Damn good album. That's how you closing it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, we ain't got no final thoughts. We, you know what I'm saying? We just going old school it. Just, we done? Oh, that's yeah, this is fine. Okay, well, yeah. shit. Hey, look. <laughs> 10 years, Den of Hip Hop is still here. So make sure you go check out the original review. I want to say that joint had like 50 some thousand K. Yeah, 57,000, you know what I'm saying, to be exact. Uh, but go check out that review if you didn't know we reviewed that way back in the day. And, you know, Den of Hip Hop, we're going to do more revisits. We out. Peace.